Good Sunday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team with an update on the tropics. And the only storm we have our eyes on is, of course, Tropical Storm Barrel. Now, it is starting to look a little bit more organized now, but this is pretty much what we were expecting to happen. Max winds are now up to 65 miles per hour as it's moving to the northwest at 10 miles per hour. Now, we're still expecting Barrel to strengthen back to a Category 1 hurricane, most likely by this evening, but before making landfall, along the Texas coast as we head into your Monday morning. And then eventually as it continues to move further inland, it will start to weaken back down to an area of low pressure and eventually curve its way to the north and northeast. Now that we are less than 24 hours away from that landfall along the Texas coast, a lot of the watches that were issued have now been upgraded to warnings. Now the red color you see on your screen, that is a hurricane warning, which includes areas like Corpus Christi, Victoria, and Lake Jackson. And then we also have tropical storm warnings in place for areas like Houston and Bryan, all the way to the southern tip of Texas and even a very small portion of the coast of Louisiana. We also have storm surge warnings in place stretching from Corpus Christi all the way towards Beaumont, Texas, because that specific area could see storm surge up to about six feet. But you'll notice that portions of the southern tip of Texas and parts of the Louisiana coast could also see some storm surge up to about three feet. Now, we here along the Gulf Coast are not going to see any direct impacts from barrel, and but we have over the last couple of days seen some indirect impacts, including a higher risk for rip currents along our immediate coastline. So again, if you're heading down to the beaches for today, it's going to be highly recommended you stay out of the water as red flags will be flying. You can always head on over to WKRG.com for the latest updates, and that's where we also have our interactive hurricane map room, and you can download your digital copy of our 2024 Hurricane Guide.